Well, good evening, ladies, lasses, and lazos. Welcome to the click. You look incredibly anatomically correct today and smell just absolutely astounding. But before we get into today's wonderful educational piece of content, I have some very amazing news. Coming soon, baby plushies of both Emotional Support Demon and Mango, and they come as keychains. So you can hang these in your keychain or on your bag, or just remove the whole thing and use them as this like little pocket plushies. They're going to be absolutely amazing, and you can make them kiss like this and romance is not dead at least not on this channel oh yes indeed so anyway today we're gonna do something absolutely flabbergasting we're gonna look at r slash bad women's anatomy because i figured we need some education up in here what better education than look at all the <laughs> horrible anatomical takes on twitter and stuff this is gonna be amazing enjoy Mwah. Man caught spiking his female date's drinks with Viagra to make sure they don't get boners because you never know any more of these days. Breaking news, I wanted to see if she would get a boner. <laughs> this is some Florida man type shit. What the hell? All right, first off, I think this is, like, incredibly illegal. Secondly, I'm a bit sad that this is where the hysteria has gone to. But number three, it gives me this really funny image in my head of someone staring at someone like this, and they go like, um, my eyes are up here, and they're like, oh yeah, I'm just looking for your boner. <laughs> and you think that this would make anyone want to go home with you? Are you kidding me? Oh, what better way to seduce people than to spike their drinks and stare them deeply into the crotch? I know how to seduce my fellow humanoids. This thing ruins outfits. I am convinced straight men don't even like women. Lamau, that belly is so freaking smexy. I was promoting obesity great. What do you mean obesity? Because like a little belly thing you get when you wear a dress? Good sir, you should try to wear a dress yourself to understand how the anatomy around dresses work. Thank you very much. Honestly, maybe that will solve so many issues in the world. You just have everyone in the world like clothes swapping. <laughs> they like realize the issues that come along with various outfits. I think it will be very useful for a lot of people. If I ever become a politician, this is going to be uh, one of my talking points. Anyway, next meme. Hollywood actresses, look at this paparazzi photo. Wow, that everyone loves. Hashtag Hillary Duff. Ooh, this is on Instagram. I want to look into the comments because everyone knows Instagram comments are just deliciously intellectual. Wait, Hillary has an Adonis belt? Isn't that supposed to be on men? What are you talking about? She's a dude. Yup, you are correct. Also, belly button at the same height than hips. Oh, yes, indeed. What makes gender a gender? The height of belly buttons. <laughs> It's a flawless science. <laughs> three heads wide from shoulder to shoulder. Shoulders... What do you mean three heads? Your shul... Y what? Shoulders broader than hips and the jaw seems quite square and strong. Have you never seen a woman with a jawline before? Are you kidding me? Anatomy does not lie. Oh, what are you talking about? This is the same kind of sh arguments that flat earthers use. Oh my god, look, you can you can see where the earth ends on the horizon. Where's the curvature? The evidence doesn't lie. That's you. That's what you sound like. Uh, you will get a lot of hate from others for that. I honestly really just saw a guy in a bikini in the pic. Well, as I said before, anatomy does not lie, so... Oh my god, but maybe your IQ is a little bit inaccurate, no? Yep, just like a guy. I probably switched up for the fame or for the fame. We got some real brainiacs on our hands here. Nice. Speaking of trans, I think the only thing you need is a brain trans plant. Was that smooth? I think that was pretty smooth. Hashtag trans rights. Not because feeding your child is R-wording it. What? But because there are other ways to feed your child even with breast milk, it's called a bottle. <laughs> and yes, I do have children and I have a six month old who drinks breast milk. But from a bottle not sucking its mother's nips, bottom line, making your child suck on your nipples is child molestation, period. <laughs> You're making your child perform a naughty act on you. That's nasty. And you who do it are child molesters and need to be put in prison for molesting your children. You hear that, moms? If you're not letting your children starve, you're a molestator. <sighs> Are we gonna play the same arguments for, like, uh, cows as well? <laughs> Man, this has some really interesting implications, doesn't it? I mean, for f**k's sake, you could use this argument for literally any body part. If this is the logic, me peeing is sexual because you technically use the same organ, right? It's like, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. Ooh, the next post, I can tell already. It's very scientific. Put on your science IQ glasses. Here we go, baby. If the woman really loves the man, as soon as her genitals reaches the man's, she silently sucks up his organ within herself, like a vacuum bag. 
<laughs> the man has no need to make any effort, you see that, men? Unless you are sucked into the woman like a vacuum. She's the one who's broken, you should never have to do a thing. What? If the woman's love is strong, her body sucks up his organ as air is sucked into an empty space. You see, it is a vacuum bag! I to called it! The thing I find the most wild about this thing is that this is obviously not an argument made from experience, right? Like, how could it possibly be? Hmm? So where on earth did you get this information? And how did you so confidently put it out there? Dear person, sir, stop. A vajujay can give birth to an entire fat-headed child and bounce back. But you all think your shrimp pee, pee is the thing that's gonna stretch it out? Your weenie is not powerful enough to have that kind of effect on anyone's life beyond the 20 minutes of quiet 7pm missionary you dish. I mean, to be perfectly honest, I think that's a pretty generous assumption for most people saying these things on Twitter, to be honest. Oh, yes, indeed. The transformed wife. Oh, that sounds like a <sighs> Twitter account. All right, let's look into it. Did you know that up to 25% of competitive female athletes lose their period and half are on the pill, so their periods won't interfere with the sport? So their sports are more important than the ability to have children. What is this argument? If you're not constantly, all the time, planning to have children right in this moment, you're... You're like doing some kind of horrible prioritization with your life. What kind of argument is this? Maybe females weren't created for competitive sports. Bro, being on the pill and doing sports doesn't make you infertile. Maybe males weren't created for competitive sports either because it's just a darn game humans came up with to occupy their time. A safe way to say to normal competitive urge and members of both genders have enjoyed that. Get over it. Not all people feel the same urge that inclines them to participate in sports. And some people do. And both camps contain both genders. I think, I think some people on Twitter just have too few actual problems to worry about. And you're like, oh my god. How dare this 20-year-old female athlete be on birth control? Is that really the argument? You have to be constantly pooping out babies. If you don't have 10 kids by the age of 25, you're doing it wrong. A dictionary for women's personal ads. Ooh, there are some real science going on here. Let's look into it, shall we? 40-ish means 49. Okay. Adventurous, slept with all your friends. But it's a personal ad. Would you, would you even know them? Athletic means no boobs. I see, I see how this is going. So like everything is twisted into something, something perceived negative, right? That's, that's the, that's the vibe here. Average looking means ugly and everything is like rounded really grossly. <laughs> Beautiful, a pathological liar. Ah, contagious smile does a lot of pills. There's a lot to unpack here, like shaming people who are on some kind of meds, but also like calling everyone a liar. <laughs> okay. Emotionally secure on medication. Mm-hmm. Feminist, fat, free spirit, junkie, friendship first, former slut. So, so what do you mean? What do you mean personal ads? You should just not, not write anything? Is that, is that the solution you're looking for? Fun, annoying, gentle, dull, new age body hair in the wrong places. What do you mean, like on the tip of your nose? That'd be kind of interesting, though. Open-minded, desperate, outgoing, loud and embarrassing, a passionate, is sloppy drunk, poet, depressive, professional, birch, romantic, frigid, voluptuous, very fat, large frame, hugely fat, once soulmate, <laughs> stalker, widow, murderer, Oh my god, there's so much of it. Widow murder. Jesus Christ. I mean, I understand that the pseudo-intellectual poo-poo head who wrote this thought that, oh, when there is a murder in a family, there is a statistical significant that there is someone the victim knew, right? But the problem here is, of course, that there is a lot more things that contribute to people's deaths than homicide. So doing the assumption that if someone is a widow, they must be a murderer is not only statistically not significant, it's so freaking stupid and disrespectful, and you should probably cease because your brain is not as impressive as you think it is, speaking of non-voluptuous things. <laughs> Widow here. I didn't advertise it on my dating profile for various obvious reasons. If I got to know someone, it would come up. Some people handle it fine. But I can't tell you how many people implied that I killed him or asked if it was an accident, in quotation marks, when in reality it was traumatic and horrifying. Ghosted quite a few folks because I just couldn't believe it. I think that's a pretty fair uh, reason to ghost people. That is absolutely horrifying. I can't believe what that would be like. You've just gone through this horrifying experience of losing the closest person to your life. And you're like, oh gee, I have to deal with all this trauma, losing loved ones and then getting out on the dating market. And now I'm accused of being a murderer as well. Isn't life just dandy? Body hair in the wrong places? Like on the wall behind the sink? Because body hair is supposed to be on the body. I feel, uh, <laughs> I feel called out. 
Why don't girls who complain about their boobs being small just get fat? It is simple. Get fat. Your boobs will get big because I've never seen a fat woman whose boobas aren't big. Your bobs are big now. That'd be great. Now hit the gym and lose all the chubby belly fat and voila, you got a smexy figure. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, okay. Okay, so the first flaw here is obviously creating kind of a damned if you do, damned if you don't, you know? You're either gonna get fat shamed or small bobs shamed, you know? There's no winning here. Secondly, you seem to think that boobs will gain mass if your body fat goes up, which is accurate, but then you also assume that they will stay that way even if the body fat goes down. That is not particularly consistent. You don't think they would, like, you know, follow the same pattern? No? That's... <laughs> You don't, you don't just magically choose which part of your body things would accumulate to. What are you- What?! <laughs> I just imagine this popping up as some, like, scam Instagram workout thing in the future, like, Oh, do you want a nice figure and big honkers? Just <laughs> gain weight, but then just don't lose the weight specifically here. It's so easy! <laughs> Man, it makes me ashamed that I'm the same species as these people. Anyway, next post, shall we? We should get a break about making women uh, enjoy themselves during intimacy. Bro, you guys are like robotic bottom puzzle with 16.5 billion different combinations which you have to work with exact three to make your... I don't, I don't want to read this. I don't want to read this. It's really weird. It's really weird. To be fair, finding a new partner, you sometimes have to get used to that person liking different things than perhaps a previous partner did. I remember when I was really inexperienced back in the day when I was jumping through my first couple of relationships like a decade ago, and I was so confident and thought I had everything figured out as like a 19-year-old dude, and then when I got together with my next partner, I realized, oh my god, I don't know anything and nothing of the things I thought I knew actually works. Oh my god, what's going on? And that's because magically people are individual people and they like subjective things. So that is something that can be like a the takeaway and you should listen to your partner. Communication is incredibly important. What they want, what they like and also what you want. Uh, that is something that is incredibly important and it changes. It can change both over time and between people. And I just attached my entire mic arm. Excellent. But whatever this person is writing is, uh, sound, sounds like you're just a very selfish lover. So, I got some good news and bad news today. Good news is my girlfriend is pregnant. Bad news is she's pregnant with twins. We all know that the only way a girl can have twins is if she's been sleeping with two guys. I have been asking her about it and who the second guy is. She keeps denying that she's been cheating on me. But we all know two babies mean she's been with two guys. I know one thing I would totally lose my mind if she was pregnant with triplets. Now I don't know what to do. Oh, if she had cheated with two men, that'd be awful, but one is just bad. We all know who? Who knows? What do you mean? Oh my god, is this... Hmm. <laughs> is this actually the logic this dude applies to like other people in life too? If you see a family with twins, your reaction is like, <laughs> that wife is getting busy. Blows my mind. Blows every part of my mind multiple times. Content warning, a real uterus and holding it up. No wonder they say girls can't take more than five inches in the uterus. Okay. Men's rights movement. You're a man who wants to be in the bathroom with women while they're changing their tampons and their butt is fully exposed. And women are supposed to be okay with that. Obviously, in women's bathroom, we all sit around in a circle on our toilets holding hands while we poop in unison. And if you have your period, you have to spin around and put your butt in the air and show us all. Why are men also the tampons goes in the butt? That's what everyone knows. We ask the man. <laughs> so the source is valid. The thing about this is that sculptures like these in art history were made for the male gaze. Photoshop a phone to it and suddenly she's seen as vain and conceited. That's why I am 100% for selfie culture, because apparently men can gawk at women, but when we realize how beautiful we are, we suddenly full of ourselves. You painted a naked woman because you enjoyed looking at her, put a mirror in her hand and you called a painting vanity, thus morally condemning the woman whose nakedness you have depicted for your own pleasure. John Berger, Ways of Seeing. That's a good quote. Damn, that's, I feel smarter already. Samola had to reduce her boob by surgery as a teenager. Why? Her 33 dating chest was getting in the way of her sporting dreams as she went under the knife at the age of 17. This is a war against the female body and nature. 
or it's just like, you know, personal freaking choices, you know, that's also something that maybe should be valued in the land of the free, because I'm assuming this is this American Twitter. Men commenting on women's boobas is inappropriate. Married men who are also pastors and church leaders and fathers commenting on women's boobas, particularly the size they were as a teenage girl. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a little weird, isn't it? It's totally unacceptable. I don't care if it's direct quote, have some discretion. My introduction for sports is transgenderism light. Transgenderism light, oh my god. Well, uh, out of all the terms I never thought I would read out loud, I have found another one. I am happy to see pastors like this person speaking against it. Well, that makes one of you. Congratulations. Go sit in the corner together and be ashamed. My F28 boyfriend M28 thinks my boobs fill up with blood <laughs> before my period. <laughs> This is some kind of pee distorted the balls kind of logic, <laughs> but somehow worse. I don't think I need to say much else. I try to explain to him that's just my milk duct swelling. But he just said until I prove him wrong, he won't change his mind. What do you mean? prove him wrong. I didn't want all the mighty Google to have something in the effect of do my boobs swell with blood before my period in my history, but alas, here we are. I found evidence to support the milk duct thing, but he said because I couldn't find an article that explicitly says my boobs didn't fill up with blood, he doesn't accept it. But you could use this bogus argument for everything. If you said, ah, oh, I think the sun is made of cheese, you have to find a peer-reviewed article specifically saying the sun isn't made of cheese. Who in the right mind would have that peer-reviewed? I just don't know how to get through to him. TLDR, I try to explain the science. He says the research is unreliable and unrelated to his claim that my boobs will fill with blood before my period. <sighs> I mean, let's just pray that the intelligence is inherited from the mother, shall we? There needs to be a mandatory naughty ed test people need to pass before they're allowed to do naughty things. Like they need a valid license before dropping pants. <laughs> oh my god. Sometimes, yeah. I feel the same thing about, like, people having kids sometimes. I mean, in practice, the ramifications would be absolutely monstrous. But, like, in theory, you can think about it and be like, yeah, having a license for kids would, like, hypothetically be pretty nifty. Maybe this as well. But it would never work, sadly. If she has a period, she's pretty much done with puberty and probably won't grow other than another inch or two. Also, if she has her period, her body's meant for prego. How would it destroy her childhood? You mean becoming a parent at 10? You're, you're asking how that would like impact someone's childhood? I picked that voice, by the way, for a very good reason. I hope you understand why. I mean, you could also twist this joke the other way around. Do you think a boy that became a father at 12 would be like a mature, non-childish father? Of course not. And then there's also the bodily aspect to it, which is like, ugh, yikes, holy fuck, man. First year, second year, third year, final year, college life, ha ha ha. Why are you squeezing balls in college? All the comments are gonna be like, click, it's a button! Yes, I, yes, indeed, indeed. This joke really cracks me up. No, it doesn't, it's an awful joke. For one, all black women are born menstruating. Uh, second, I asked if you understood Lamau. Clearly you didn't. Oh, <laughs> yes, indeed, I'm a man of science. <laughs> Sometimes, I do genuinely believe these people are just AI-generated, and they just string together random words and see whatever works, you know, see whatever gets engagement. I think it's an engagement farm at this point, none of these people are real. R slash random thoughts. How do women shake their vajujays when they're done peeing? <laughs> let me- <laughs> let me know in the comments! The comments on this video are gonna be very interesting, I love this community. Single moms posting else. Have you really made a gimmick account just for on single parents? Man, you need to find a better hobby, my god. I want to find myself. I am a strong woman. I am ready to settle down, you see? Because when you gone shopping with the egg carton, and this is a horrible analogy, what are you doing? Men need to shame women for their vajuje sizes more, for equality. Ah, I see. <laughs> Women shame PP sizes as easily a hundred times the rate that men shame vajujay sizes. I don't think so. For the sake of equality, this needs to change. Tit for tat is moral. It increases long-term cooperation between parties in prisoners' dilemmas. Get, get, given defect, but aren't defecting back. What on earth are you talking about? Instead, they just take it and hope that it stops. I suggest defecting back, as this leads to long-term cooperation on both sides when a truce is formed. 
This just reads like someone who's completely incoherent, but they think they're the smartest person alive. Women are just as strong as men. They can surely handle what they dish out. Your statistic is just completely made up. To be fair, I think both directions of this are pretty tasteless, to be honest, but making the claim that it doesn't happen in one direction only is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> I think we've, we've read enough of these posts to know that this is not true in the least. And like the solution as well. It's like, oh my God, okay. So these people over here, I don't like what they're doing. So, so let's create like more bullying or whatever you want to call it. That's not how you solve it. Like what the frick? This guy talks like loose vedute jokes aren't just as rampant as small penis ones. They're both pretty low bar in my opinion. There is definitely better things to target, like that cesspool of a personality for one. <laughs> Your personality is like a one-layered lasagna. Why not just say fake vajuje? Oh my god, what do you think a transvaginal ultrasound is, dude? Just because you can get a doctor to look at it doesn't mean it's not fake. So, you're not gonna admit you aren't just stupid dillweed who doesn't know what a transvaginal ultrasound is? You're gonna go with, I have a fake vajuje. So it doesn't have to do with fake vajujays? Oh my god! It uh, took me a good minute to realize he thinks transvaginal ultrasounds are for trans people. He just jumped on a medical term with the hopes of nailing some kind of transphobic talking point. But instead just showing off how stupid transphobes are. Good job! You made progress today, but not in the way you intended, perhaps. I don't think straight women exist at all. All women are inherently bisexual. Well, that's where you're wrong, mate. Explain? Well, I think we explained enough. Your boobas are connected with your private parts through nervous impulses and hormones was directed to this woman from a male giving me tips on how to be more connected to my girlfriend. <laughs> what? All your body parts are connected by the same body? That's the argument? Oh my fucking god. Did you know that your hands are connected together by arms that then goes, you know, to your torso and through your body? That means your hands are the same. Follow me for more body guru tips. Your body parts are all connected? Wow, I did not see that coming. It's like women are nothing but boobas and vajujays. It's like, it's like a biblically accurate angel, but it's only with boobas. That sounds like some kind of really bad creepypasta, doesn't it? Oh, look at this anatomically accurate, beautiful leggings. Oh my god, what happened? What happened? What? What is it? What happened to ankles? They're like, they're like this wide. What on earth? No! I remember some countries started implementing the fact that if something is photoshopped, they have to say that it's photoshopped. I would love to see that to be like the standard internationally. That'd be so good, because stuff is getting a little bit silly. The next one is a very deep philosophical post, so put on your philosophically glasses and let's do this together. If lesbians are born lesbians, why do they still get their period if they weren't made for the male splooshies? <laughs> Checkmate, atheists. <laughs> Republicans on the R word. R word is kind of like the weather. If it's inevitable, relax and enjoy it. All right. If it's a legitimate R word, a female body has ways to try to shut that whole thing down. N um, no. Our victims should make the best of a bad situation. What? Are you this is this is not those kind of like glass half full kind of kind of moments, fam. What the fuck? Even when life begins in that horrible situation of R, it is something that God intended to happen. Are you calling God an R-word apologist or even R-word enthusiast in this case? Like, he made it happen, it's a gift. No, it's Holy shite. In the emergency room, they have what's called R-word kits where a woman can get cleaned out. Huh? If a woman has the right to an abortion, why shouldn't a man be free to use his superior strength to do this? to a woman, at least the R-word pursuit of naughty freedom doesn't, in most cases, result in anyone's death. What on earth are these arguments? And speaking of God and the Bible and stuff, what does the Bible actually say about it? If you want to go down the route to use that as an actual argument, which I wouldn't really recommend, but for the sake of it, what does the Bible say about the R-word? The Bible addresses the issue of R directly. And as one would expect, the Bible depicts R as a gross violation of God's design. The Bible condemns R whenever it is mentioned. Oh, gee, look at that. You can't even, like, follow your own source material in your God-forsaken arguments. It's literally God-forsaken. The R-word factors into several biblical stories. Jacob's daughter was abducted and R-worded by Shneshnem, Genesis, in a horrific atrocity the men of Jebeah savagely gang and murdered a Levite concubine. The men of Sodom, 
Ammon, and multiple other examples. As the people of Israel prepared to enter the Promised Land under Joshua's leadership, the laws of God were repeated. One of those laws was a clear prohibition against forcing a woman into a naughty encounter against her will, or what we today call the R word. This command was meant to protect women and to protect the nation of Israel from committing sinful actions. So there you go. If you for some reason need an ancient book to be a good person, which blows my mind in the first place, then there it is. Not even the ancient book agrees with this atrocity, so GG, baby. Literal R word still believes in the female zenith of experience. Women don't like naughties, they just get off to how evil it is to lie and manipulate on a grand scale. <laughs> I just imagine like going home with someone for the first time and they're like, uh huh, you want to go to the snuggle chamber? And you're like, oh yes. And they just get this like Disney evil villain laughter. <laughs> oh, you poor man. <laughs> I will never enjoy myself. <laughs> That's the argument. Damn. I do love these people who make this like whole conspiracy theories about like half the human population is all in on this lie together and they all enjoy the lie. But Instead of just like being, oh gee, maybe I should like communicate better with the person I'm intimate with. No. Asian girls have tight bodies designed to accommodate pathetic little Asian boys. Ooh, we got a little bit of like weird sexism and racism in a single sentence. Juicy. That's why when a white guy does things with them, it feels amazing. TikTok was a mistake. I think humanity is a mistake, but TikTok is one of those things that like enhances it right? It's like when you give a really annoying person a megaphone. It's not really the megaphone's fault, but you know, it definitely doesn't make it better. A bathin full of fun. That's a lot of legs. You know that when 80% of your body height is legs, you, you got something figured out. Oh, yes, indeed. When they dig up your skeletons in the future and see it's 80% legs, oh my god. It's like that whole Twitter argument. Are they gonna dig up my skeleton in, uh, in, in 500 years and look like, oh, oh my god, this skeleton is so gay. Uh. <laughs> the man takes care of his woman. The woman takes care of her man. Neither is more important than the other. Both of them work together to build an empire and succeed together. All right, that's pretty. That's pretty wholesome. But like, the body shape of the woman is a little wacky, isn't it? That's that's pretty wild, yo. So let's have a little bit of an anatomy class because apparently so far in this video it's just been atrocious for whatever reason. Look at this: shoulder, chest, waist, hips. Ah, yes, how did I forget women don't have ears? If they have ears, they are a man. That's why you should never trust people with long hair because they're hiding their, their man. <laughs> Follow me for more biological atrocities. You know when you record a video and you can feel your mind slowly like seeping out of your ears or something? That is this video. Value-oriented social counseling for educated youth. Many boys remain fool. They are not aware of virgin girl as wife. Virgin girl is like sealed bottle or sealed packet. Are you willing to buy broken seal while purchasing a bottle of cold drinks or packet of biscuits? Ooh, what accurate analogy are we using for women and marriage today? A packet of biscuits. <laughs> is it the same case with your wife or the packet of biscuit that you decided to marry? A girl is biologically sealed from birth until it is opened. False. A virgin girls means many things accomplished as values, culture, and naughty hygiene. To most boys, virgin wife is like angel, value-oriented blah blah blah. This man used to be a professor who posted this educated youth, more like uneducated youth. Jesus freaking Christ. This reminds me of that men writing women text when it was like, he slid his hand downwards and noticed there was no opening at all. Oh, she must be a virgin. Ah, oh, and he smirked as she blushed. It's like, you think like people are just Ken dolls down there before the first time, you know? It's like sometimes when you have Ikea things and you have to drill holes to put things together. That's how you think humans work. You have, you have like a little virginity drill. No. Oh, baby, you know what I really love? When you when you compare me to a bottle of Coke, <laughs> said no woman ever. What if they poop in it? Women can't differentiate what's coming when they start pushing. As far as I know, only men have it separated. Wait, so, so according to this gentleman, women only have like one hole for everything. Damn, out of all the like anatomy theories I have seen online, this 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 is probably one of the more impressive ones today. A bad girl. Oh yes, indeed. Let's look into it together. She pouts. She smokes and drinks. Eats too much. Watches the adult stuff. Can't make round. What? What was that? What does that say? Okay, can't bake bread. Apparently, has boobas. <laughs> If you have boobas, you're just evil. Eats too less. 
apparently is very poor at grammar as well. Goes to G O. Uh, oh, I don't even know what that dancing. I guess walks outside with the hair open, leches at other guys, falls in love in a park, disgusting evil female deeds, rides a motorbike. Oh, more absolutely disgusting behavior. Falls in love in the park. You know what makes women so evil? Them darn women and always falling in love in parks. It's just so specific. Oh my god. 101 Dinge, die jedes Paar einmal erlebt haben muss. Hmm. Um, her neck, is she okay? <laughs> No. So because we have suffered through a lot of things in today's video, here's a quick little intermission. Look at this puppy dog wearing a seatbelt. It's so freaking cute. I love this puppy. It is amazing. <sighs> All right, let's keep going, shall we? Not everything in the human urinary bladder is urine. Uh, please tell me what else you think is in there. It depends on what you last had to eat. The bladder is where proteins and fat are digested before entering the intestines. Oh, you just you just put the whole body in like a backwards thing. I see. Okay, no, that's not how it works at all. I am not showing you that unless you pay for my fancy lol. I said that. I barely know you and I'm in a very uncomfortable state right now. Oh, we can smoke and you can show me. I don't know. I am laying in bed in pain. I said okay about that. <gasps> Poor baby. I can give you a massage in your ovaries. Oof. I love those little massage places you can go to when they just massage your ovaries. <laughs> Oh, what a business concept. So, he's 10 years old and his mom is still menstruating? Ugh, what did she have him when she was 15? Yes, everyone knows that women go through menopause at 25. That's very accurate. This girl has gained a huge following of mostly men and young girls because of her tiny waist. Recently, she posted photos from a photo shoot, then the photographer posted the originals. And here is the first picture that was edited, and here's the second picture that was released by the photographer. You can see the waist was reduced quite a bit to a point where it's not really uh, realistic in the least even for people that do professional modeling and fitness which is such a shame because the original picture looks really nice like you have nothing to worry about it's just, it's so sad to see that this is kind of the trend that that our modern social media is reinforcing and here's the next picture as well here's the edited one and the non-edited one instagram and here's yet another one before and after I remember reading studies about this kind of stuff, that the more time you spend on social media, such as Instagram, there is a significant uptick, especially for young girls, when it comes to like body dysmorphia and depression and all those kind of things. So if you're feeling down in the dumps about that kind of stuff, I, I sometimes do, not for that reason specifically, but sometimes just deleting certain social media apps on your phone for a while can give you really good perspective about where specific like bad vibes come from in your life. It, I, I don't want to sound like a boomer, like, those pesky phones, but like specifically these kind of things are very heavily correlated. It's something to keep in mind uh, if this is affecting you in a negative way, which sometimes it does without you even realizing. You are enough. Remember that. When you see these pictures on social media or influencers or any of that kind of stuff, not even the influencers look these good. Not even the people that spend their whole full-time job just looking good look this good. You know, it's like perfect lightning, perfect angles, edited, photoshopped, makeup, like everything you can imagine. No one looks like this, not even themselves. But one thing we can all do, which is, uh, I, sh I should probably start doing this, you know, using AI filters so you just look like 10 years younger when you're, when you're streaming and stuff. Check this out. Here's a beautiful filter that doesn't give me like, uh, <coughs> like, uh, Uncanny Valley vi uh, Great. Uh, here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another one. Oh my god, I want to see it. What, what's the eyeballs are way too intense. Here's another one, and here's another one. <laughs> here's another one. <laughs> here's another one. Why does it keep going? It's so many. Holy crap, no. You know, I more and more think this is going to be the first step of the AI revolution. It's not going to be like Terminator with real-life robots. They're just going to take over the world by starting in the digital space. I think in 10 years, I wouldn't be surprised if half the creators, like YouTubers and streamers, are just AIs. You know, basically VTubers, but they're completely AI-powered. I would not be surprised if that is the case. Well, laddies, lasses and lasses, I hope we learned something beautiful together here at Click Academy. It's... Uh... It's an amazing day, isn't it? Anyway, I do hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And I'll see you again in the very near future. Remember, we have tiny emotional support demon and Mungo coming in the very near future. They're super cute, super squishable. And if you get both, you'll probably have a little bit of a bit of percentage off as well. Hopefully, we'll see how all that works out. I will see you in the very near future, you wonderful beings. 
and take care. Mwah. Oh, can I put like a little demon up here? Oh, can it like look up in the corner? Come on now. C come on, baby. It's gonna take a while, isn't it? <laughs> gotta tape it, maybe? Maybe I can just hang it. Hold on. <laughs> I'm breaking my whole setup, aren't I? Great, you can only see the keychain part. Nice. 